is Outdoors Go Marvel, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. We've seen people fishing from just about everything, and I seem to remember witnessing a cobia being caught from a kayak a few weeks ago. Yeah, but this is the first fishing tournament we've been to where the folks use jet skis as their preferred mode of transportation. That's right. Our buddy Rich King from Delaware Surf Fishing organized this one out of Holtz Landing State Park recently, and it really looks like a lot of fun. Uh, today is the first annual Delaware Jet Ski Fishing Tournament. A bunch of guys are getting together and they're going to fish on jet skis and try and win some prizes. The fish has to comply to Delaware Creel limits and um, they, they're going to actually measure them, take a picture of them with their phone, send them to me and we're going to update it as the day goes by on Facebook. Now most good fishing tournaments also help raise money for a worthy cause and the proceeds from this one will go to the Children's Beach House in Lewis, Delaware. We work with kids that have speech, language, and hearing problems, and a great opportunity for kids who would otherwise not have a chance to do sailing or kayaking or swimming, those sorts of things. And there's about 10 jet skis signed up for this tournament, and we had a chance to check out some of the cool rigs that were there. First time I ever saw a jet ski, I wanted one just for fishing, because you can take those things anywhere a boat can't go. When it comes to fishing from these jet skis, there seems to be more pros than cons. I had a big boat, uh, sucked on gas. More maneuverability, uh, you can get into skinnier water. There's also a lot of downfalls too, it's a lot smaller. You know, you gotta pick your weather days. Rob has told me these guys can go almost 110 miles on a full tank of gas with the economy setting on the ski. This couple showed up ready to do some fishing. Something different, something fun. I love the water and he loves the water and he loves the fish, so we just thought, hey, why not? Let's give it a try. What's interesting here is their ski doesn't have any modifications. Um, I'm going to hold a lot of this stuff and just pray that it doesn't fall off again. <laughs> we got some rope that we're going to tie the cooler in at the back, and then I'm going to hold the bait. If you're looking for flounder, go shallow. They're in the canals, but they're mostly shallow. And before long, they're off. Now the only thing missing is the fishing. The pontoon boat we were supposed to be on to film this backed out at the last minute, so we had to use our GoPro to get a sense of the event. Rich was good enough to send us some pictures, and it turns out the only keeper fish of the day was Jim Toogood's 17-inch flounder. Looks like he took Rich's advice. Yeah, and it was good enough to win some Helly Hansen gear presented by Mike Duncan as a first place prize. Here's to the inaugural Delaware Jet Ski Fishing Tournament. We think it's a great idea, and we're already looking forward to it next year.